This video will show how to use Pass Portal along with features of the portal. To access the portal, type www.pass.org.in in the browser. Each city is given a unique login ID and case-sensitive password. Enter your login ID and password at the top right side of the website. Click on Login button to access the portal. The portal is available in four languages. For data reporting, click on Data Entry tab. We will see Checklist and Target Settings sub-tabs. Click on Checklist, which takes us to worksheets for reporting sectoral data. We can either enter data in the worksheets online or download all the sheets. Collect data in the required format and fill in the data in the portal later on. For online data reporting, go to Select Financial Year, for which we want to report the data. Select the Financial Year from the drop-down list and click on View Checklist. The checklist has six sheets general information, water supply, sewerage and drainage, solid waste management, ERI and reliability. In each sheet, the data to be filled is organized into sections. As we can see, each data element to be answered has a unit and previous year's data for reference. The white cells are for data entry, while the yellow cells indicate the data which is auto-calculated or auto-filled by the system. If a city is filling data for the first time, then the previous year's data will not appear. Once data reporting for a particular section is complete, we can click on Save at the end of the section. It is advisable to save after each section to ensure that data is not lost due to connectivity issues. We can click on Save All to save all the edited data in the sheet. The portal has three types of built-in checks to highlight any errors in the entered values. First, while reporting data, line by line in a section, pop-up messages are generated on entering unacceptable values. These need to be corrected to proceed further. Second, pop-up messages are generated while entering data but it does not prevent submitting the section. In cases where the incorrect looking value is justified, we can write the justification of the value in the remarks box that is available after each section. Third, after reporting all data in a section, when we click on validation, warning messages appear to highlight incorrect data. These messages have to be rectified to be able to submit the respective section. Reset button allows to erase all data for the particular section. Once we have finalized and saved the data for all the six sheets, we click on Submit. After the sheet is submitted, the data cannot be edited. Therefore, it is necessary to make sure the data is correct and verified to the extent possible before submitting. The sheets should be submitted in the same order from general information to reliability. 